<laughs> All right, fellas, this is the first one today on that good old bait that Michael gave me. This bait was pretty ragged after that last fish, but I decided to leave it on here. Oh, he's a he's a toughie. Come on back over here, fella. And uh, anyway, I it's a it's a bad day to be out <clears throat> we've got we've got a lot of weather going on right now i know by the time this is posted it'll be over but because i got some really awesome videos ahead i gotta post but right now we're dealing with some serious weather and so i decided to come out anyway we got north wind blowing we got uh, high tide so I said well let's just see if we can adapt this is a pretty pretty decent fella right here and uh, so I've been going along and I hadn't huh, I think I might have snagged this fella I, when, no I think what happened is bait and look at that no, I did kid him on the side. He ran at it and I hooked him. Hooked him out. <laughs> That's why he's pulling so hard because he's not hooked in the mouth. He definitely made the run for it. So I'm going to count it as a catch. Dude, you missed your mouth. Ooh, I don't know what to do. You have one job in life. To get my bait in your mouth and reproduce. And I don't know, you're too little to reproduce, so you missed that one. And then I bet you might get another chance. I don't know if you'll make it or not. It felt so big. When you, when you hook them like anywhere other than the mouth, you, uh, they give a little better fight. Oh, well, <laughs> what you going to do? What you gonna do whenever fish needs to be caught, they're gonna be caught, but it's pretty cool. I, I've been going long and it's so dark I can't see down in the water. And But I did see he made one fatal error and he busted on some bait. When you bust on bait, fella, yeah, he's 22. He's plenty big for the, for the cooler. So even though I'm trying to get my finger there. All right. All right. In case you missed the last video, uh, was the first trip out with uh, this bait that Michael makes. And uh, I talked to him. He said he does sell them. Uh, it's $5 for a package of eight. And I asked him if he could put some hardener in there for mine. I don't know if he'll do it for everybody, but I. Uh, and I don't even know if it'd be better. Uh, I'm just kind of an old tight bohemian. I, I don't, I kind of like to catch a lot of fish off of one bait, but most people don't. They, they'll swap baits pretty regular and who knows, it might be better to be real loose and, and works, you know, it, it'll have more action like that. So anyway, I will leave again, his uh, information in the description and uh all right but uh i guess we're gonna move on so <laughs> let's see what else we can get see you in a bit guy I just was stalking him I was deciding whether I wanted to turn around or not and I because I mean I got into two inches of water and this board's just dragging and whatever and I said well I can scoot up here we'll see oh and he's like no he's a he's a pretty good one oh come out of them weeds fella turn around don't drown Oh, he's a, 
he's a hefty one you're a heavy <laughs> come here come here but uh yeah he nailed that nailed that bait again michael's bio baits now i didn't mention it when i was talking but i put a little note on there that michael is 15 years old and uh he come up with this idea with, of using used baits and recycling them and uh anyway and he also i think he he mentioned that if anybody wanted to to help him out and donate some used lures that they you know want to keep out of the environment and that he would sure like to take them boy that rascal swallowed it boy look how good they want that bait they 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 don't even barely get it they swallow it way on in there settle down fella that monster's huge how can you get a fish that huge in this water this water of course it's a little deeper right here let's just see well let's see what is that one two three four five six ten inches of water right here where he's at that's plenty of water but we're up against there where i was at and even and it got real narrow over there where there was no 10 inches anywhere so i'm i'm hopeful to maybe get another one that one swam up there and i don't see him so it must be deep enough up there to hide him all right how big is this guy he's almost too big to take he's 26 but on a stormy day if you don't jump out you going home 26 incher all right well that let's see if we can get this thing out uh but uh yeah that's pretty good guys i'm 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 happy with that i'm not just the bait i'm happy with the fishing today because i i really was beginning to think that i might have made a mistake coming out here in this storm but well all right we got him unhooked so i think we'll just move on guys i don't know i know looking into the sun is rough but that's the only angle we got right now but we got about 100 yards left to go and maybe we'll run across another one and all i need is one more that might be one right in front of us all right bring you back in when i see one that that takes the cake right there guys that takes the cake there's such a thing as taking the cake out here in the water oh my i've seen it all now <laughs> well maybe not all we don't know what's going to happen next time i go out y'all got to keep watching <laughs> i'll throw it up in the dead burn bushes there was two of them there and he wouldn't pay me no mind at all i don't know what the deal is some days they would have they would have ran when i come around that corner but today i was right on top of him and pitching up in that that burn tree and everything and he turned around and well 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 but guys i've been working i am i <laughs> oh i tell you what good thing about this camera is we can cut out all that work y'all guys don't have to see all that but uh, i had to paddle to a different spot and and i'm you can see the lay of the land looks totally different than a while ago but that north wind i i wanted to go to a different spot but that north wind had it too rough over here is a little rough hey is he hooked good oh he is not hooked very deep 
not hooked very deep. We better not get too too rough with him. He's played out, but all he got to do is give it a good jerk. Probably can get off. But anyway, guys, I think, you know, let's just see if we can get him on the boat. Feller, do you want to come home with me? I know if you give it a hard jerk, you're going to get off. Yeah, I'm playing you. I'm playing you. Easy. Settle down. Settle down, fella. All right. I mean, there's a little meat there. Oh, what are you, what are you doing? All right, he's up here, but you just too dumb to be in that water. We don't want you reproducing. Oh, your offspring be so easy to catch. Everybody get a limit. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute. I might need to rethink that. Maybe I need to turn him loose. <laughs> he he must be one of them. Hey, I hear a boat. I thought I was the only person that would come out during a storm. No, I ain't. Some Somebody in a boat out there running around. Well, that's good. Ugh. All right. Let's just see what this guy is. He is 25 inches, bend the tail. He didn't, neither one of them looked that big. That sun finally got up high enough because that's how long I've been here. And both of them looked like they'd barely be 20. But it was that overhang. I was having a hard time to trying to get that bait over there. But anyway, whatever it takes, right? But, I know we only got three fish in here, but uh, again, that was on uh, Michael's bait. And uh, anyway, I had to put a new one on. But uh, this one looks like we might can catch another one with it. He didn't even tear it up. But all right, a lot of talk. And I think I'm going to head on back out. I got a lot more bank I could go, but I mean, now I got my three in. I need to get on out of here, man. I'm tarred. But uh, thank you guys for coming out, and uh, I guess we'll see, see y'all guys next time. Good Lord willing. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, bonus footage. Oh, oh, let me get my mask off. Oh, <laughs> a bonus for you guys. I just drifting downwind back out of here and lo and behold, looked up and seen a ginormous mullet. And I said, well, look, a couple of mullet. Then I looked a little closer and I said, no, 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 no. I had one large, rather large mullet and a medium sized red. <laughs> So I'm sitting here, like I say, I wasn't even, I, would, I gave up on fishing. I'm just paddling out. And, uh, but, you know, we still checking this bait out. Brother. We got to see. And that rascal, he wasn't, it wasn't even close to him, I don't think. And he, he turned around and he went to, went straight for it. All right. He would have been a nice little keeper, but we can't keep him. We already got our three, but anyway, get out of that gill. I don't like it when they're in that gill, but I don't think it hurt him. Get out from there. What you doing? There he is. There he is. Oh, that's a good hook. I don't know if that makes a big difference or what, but I mean, he ain't hooked all the way through and through. I couldn't really get a good, good set on him. He was, he ran straight underneath the craft. And this is pretty deep water right here. But he was floating on top. He's like, oh, I'm gonna float up here with this my buddy. He had a buddy, you had a buddy, didn't you? Yeah, you did, a mullet buddy. Everybody needs a mullet buddy. Hey, I used to have a mullet back in the, back in the day. <laughs> that tell you how old I am. <laughs> All right, 22 and a half we've been to tell probably. Just a nice little fish. All right, get out of here. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right. 
tell you what. That was an achy breaky heart catch right there. <laughs> I don't know, we was talking about mullets and I thought about Billy Ray Cyrus. I remember when that song came out. I said, you know what? That's a crazy song, but I bet that rascal's going to number one. And people say, you crazy. Shh. That rascal went right up to number one. All right, guys. Um, we're getting out of here again. And so, I um, want to say God bless. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Good Lord willing. <laughs>